Okay, so this time we are going to check how we can use counter rig to do uh, this type of simulations in the hair. So first thing first is we need to create a counter rig. Um, oops, sorry, should have done this before. Um, so if you right click in the skeletal mask, create counter rig. Um, here is the control rig. So for this, we are going to need a couple of controllers. And the easiest way to create them is just to select the bones, right click, new, add controls for selected. In this case, we want the controllers to actually follow the animation. So we're just going to directly parent them under their own bones, like that. Um, I should do this size side at first. So the first one we're going to look at is the spring interpolate. So spring interpolate will work with the rotations. So spring interpolate here, and what I do is that I'll get my control, get control, and I'll connect the rotation to the target in here, and then I'll get my bone, and I'll set bone and I will connect the rotation with the rotation here and then the translation I will just pass directly and connect the forward solve oh I selected the wrong bone so I have zero 03 not zero 06 there we go um, here you can change these attributes so I'll just put less, a bit less strength and a bit less of damping as well. So to make this working here, we actually need to go back to the animation blueprint and add a control rigging here. So if I go here, control rig, then we need to select this one and then just find the control rig that we are working on. Um, so it will be in here and this should be enough to pass the control rig information you can really see it moving no. ah it is yeah it's, it's giving a little bit of movement uh, but let's, let's just add the other joint so I think it will be easier to visualize um, so for the other bones, we have to do exactly the same. So we'll just copy and paste. And in here, uh, four, five, six, and then four, Let's see if that looks like it's moving. Yeah, you can see a little bit of movement, you see, uh, especially if you look from this angle here. One way to edit this in an easier way instead of going individually and changing everything. So you can right click on the strength and promote paint to variable. So then this now lives here in variables and you can edit the value here. So let's say the strength, I'll put uh, 10. And if I connect it to these ones, let's see if it makes any difference. I think it gets then very stiff. So if I change the strength to be one, Save. You can see some movement, but it's still not looking great. So I just went back and tweaked a little bit of the value, so you can see how different it looks now. Um, what I've changed was just the strength I put as two, and the critical damping I put zero one, zero two, zero three, and zero four. Uh, so it gives this little kind of follow through effect.
let's just do for the other side so they don't look uh, different. So another thing you could do for to facilitate this process here is that you can transform this into a function. Um, so let's just quickly do it. So if I go in my blueprint and I create a new function that will call spring interpolate uh, for bonds. So in this function I want to pass uh, an array. So rig, sorry, rig key element and array that will be calling as bones and I want to pass the controls and I also want to establish the strength I never know how to spell strength <laughs> strength and this will be just a single and it's actually a float and I'll pass the damping as well which is also a float so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and paste in here. You will soon understand what I'm doing. Um, but instead of getting directly the name of the bones of the controls, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call bone at. So I'll say that the first element here, I will pass into here. Um, Sorry, before let's just create a sequence. So then this one will do first and at last it will execute. So bone one is this one, bone two of the array is sorry, is the second bone but the index will be one. <laughs> Um, and then third bone which is the index 2 here and index 3 in here and then I can connect this and I'll do the same for the controls um, so I can just Actually, we use this one. Connect control element one. Sorry, element zero. And then one, two, and three. So, what I can also do is that I can pass the string thing here then. So strength, 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 and strength. And then for the damping, I will put one in here, but then I will actually increase. So I'll add 0 0.1 to this one. Then I would add 0 0.2 to this one and I will add 0 0.3 to this one. So they're all different. So I'm basically doing the same thing as I've done in here, but just as a function. So the way this works, then now I can come here and I can call this function. And I just need to pass the four bones and the four controllers. Um, so in here. And then same order, three, four, five and six. I'm going to say the strength is two and the damping is 0 0.1 and hopefully this will be calculated. Mm, there's an issue. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, 
is gone. I'm not sure what was giving that error. Um, so yeah, let's see if that still works. Cool. Yeah, this still works. And then let's say I can easily just come here and change the damping for 0 0.5 and then straight away I will see the influence in here. But also now if I want to do the other side, I can just call this function again and let's just clear this, clear this. And I can do the same for the other side. Oh, I need to parent these two, the bones as well. There you go. If I select create item array and then just pass them here. And hopefully you should have two sides working now. Um, and there you go. So to complement this uh, setup, there is another one that is called a uh, verlet. So I'm just going to show in one example here, but it only works with translations. So I don't think it's that um, useful to be honest I think the rotation the spring interpolate one is is much more useful but I will just show you here just so we can see so it's called verlet and it's pretty much the same idea so we've connect this and the position will be the translation and you also set your strength and the damp and the blend um, Let's just pass this one here and I will just replace this by the verlet. And another way instead of dragging these and listing it down all the time, you can also come here and just get strength and just connect directly. That works the same. Um, let's see. Maybe I need to increase the strength. Let's see. Because the default was 64, so... <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this is clearly not as good, but just see if we can get into something. Uh, then, um, yeah, you get the idea. I mean, it's not as I said for this a specific example for the hair. It doesn't make much sense having a translation um, setup, but I guess it can be useful for other things. Um, and you can also mix a bit of the verlet and a bit of the spring interpolation to then create your own simulations. <laughs>